We're gonna show you 13 mind-blowing video editing hacks all using CapCut on desktop. A lot of people still don't know CapCut even has a desktop app, much less how good it is, and we were blown away by some of the wild stuff it can do. Let's go. You can actually change the lighting in your scene after you shoot it using Relight. Just go up to Video and then Basic, then scroll down and select Relight. Then just choose the type of light you want to add, where you want it, the radius, distance, and any other settings you want to adjust. From here, you can animate the light by clicking the diamond next to any setting you want to change, then moving your timeline marker to where you want the animation to end, and adjusting the slider to automatically create a new keyframe. When you play it back, the lighting will actually be animated in the scene. You can use AI to add camera movement to your shots in post. Just select a clip you want to apply the effect to, then under Video and Basic, go down to AI Movement and select one of the presets. After it processes, you can even adjust the specific movement sliders to change the scale, rotation, and distance of the movement on your clip. If you want to do the opposite and stabilize shaky footage, just select your clip, go up to Video, Basic, and then select Stabilize. CapCut will smooth out your shaky clips without the need for a gimbal. If you want to get a cool retro film style, go over to Effects, Video Effect, and then choose Negative Graffiti 3. Have it cover just the beginning of your clip. Then go up to Video, then Mask, and select Mirror. Then adjust the size of the letterbox to what looks good to you. One of the coolest features in CapCut are the wild body effects. Whether you're just trying to add some trippy psychedelics to a shot or quickly create something totally unhinged, there's a ton of these built-in effects you can use and they all work with the click of a button. You can easily create this stylish slide look by going up to effects, video effects, and then searching for the slideshow effect. Add it to your timeline by clicking the plus sign, then scrub to find the transition point where the screen is totally black and shorten your clip to end at that point. Then add in your second clip so it starts in the same place. You can do this for as many shots as you want and when you play it back, there will be a perfect slide transition between clips. If you want to get your clips looking good quickly, or if you don't know how to color grade and you want a great place to start, just go up to Adjustment and then under Basic click Auto Adjust. You can then adjust the strength or even fine tune your look further from there. If you want to easily create an aesthetic sunwashed look, just search for the Dreamy Glow video effect and add it to your timeline. Then stretch it out over your clips, bring the filter slider all the way up to 100 and the glow slider down to about 10. To make it look even more retro, you can search for a noise video effect and add that above your dreamy glow. Then you can just adjust the noise level to taste. One cool technique you can do to get stunning looks is to keyframe the effects you add to your shots. Go to Effects, then search for Leak 1 and add it by hitting the plus sign. When you play it back, it ends abruptly at the end of the layer. What you can do is move your timeline marker back before the layer ends and add a keyframe to one of the sliders. We're going to do Atmosphere for this effect, so just click the little diamond beside it to add a keyframe. Then drag your timeline marker to the end of the effect and drag the slider all the way down to zero. Making any adjustment to that same slider again will automatically add another keyframe. Now when you play it back, the effect will fade out a lot more naturally. If you want to get an anamorphic inspired look, just search for Radio Blur 2 under Video Effects and click the plus sign to add it. Then turn down the strength a bit to subtly blur the edges of the frame. Then search for the Rainbow Flood effect and add it over your clips. Bring down the glow effect a lot and some of the other sliders a bit as well until you have a bit of a stylized RGB look. This will also create some natural flares for you. CapCut is one of the only video editing programs that actually has motion tracking built right into the desktop app. Just select your clip and under Video go to Basic and then scroll down and select Camera Tracking. With a single button click you can automatically track a subject's face, body, or hand. You can even select Fit to Canvas and lock the object size to automatically get a wild camera tracking effect in a matter of seconds. If you want an aesthetic 80s VHS look, add the CCD effect and drag it out for the length of your clips. The best part about this is that it automatically uses the current date and time. You can then lower the filters on this effect a bit so it's less intense, then add the vintage purple effect and drag that out over your clips. Then turn down the strength and texture until you get this vibey 80s look. If you want to create a surreal, dreamlike effect, just select your clip, go to Video, Basic, and then select Motion Blur. Then go to Effects, Video Effects, and add the Dizzy Special Effect by clicking the plus sign and dragging it out for the length of your clips. Most people are surprised that all these features are in the desktop version of CapCut, and they keep adding new ones all the time. So go try them out yourself at the link in the description and make something amazing with them. We'll see you in the next one.